what's up guys welcome back to the channel today I'm doing another wedding that is at the same venue that my last gig log was at uh, the name of the venue is artisan works and it's pretty much a copy and repeat of what my last gig log was um, except this one is in a different part of the venue it's in a different building and uh, same exact setup, except they also have my photo and video booth for this one. So it'll be interesting. Um, one of the things that's making this uh, wedding unique and different from many of the weddings they do is that uh, the bride and groom, they've hired two bands. So one band's gonna be playing during cocktail hour and the other one's gonna be opening up the dance floor for about an hour, hour and a half, and then I take it from there. So it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a, a unique wedding. So hang out, uh, I'm gonna start getting everything inside. The Tahoe's all loaded up and I'm gonna get them set up. They have an early ceremony today. So I've got about two hours to get everything set up. And then luckily because I only live about five minutes away, uh, I'm gonna run home, change, get cleaned up, and then come back before cocktail hour starts uh, right around four o'clock. So um, yeah, here we go, let's do this. We fast forwarded about three hours, guys. In that matter of time, I was able to get everything all set up, did a sound check, actually multiple sound checks with the band, and I even had time to set up the photo in the video booth. And then they did their ceremony, and I ran home, changed, got cleaned up, and now I'm back. And cocktail hour is happening in the other building, the other room. Uh, I believe they have a jazz band that's playing over there. So. They're, uh, they're covered for music for cocktail hour. They're gonna make their way back in here in about an hour. Um, but before they do that, I'm gonna run around, I'm gonna get some pictures, I'm gonna get some video, and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm, what I'm using. But I'm gonna go through this very quickly because uh, you guys have seen this before, so there isn't really anything out of the ordinary. Starting with the Reloop RP8000 flagship turntables with the custom Buffalo Bills. Go Bills, woo, Bills Mafia. Uh, turntable vital. Tractor Z2 mixer. Korg Nano Pad, Phased DJ, my DMX Go, and I'm using my Yamaha mixer tonight. You guys uh, have seen in other gig logs and other events that I've done, uh, I have a little Behringer mixer that I've used, which has always been really good for me. Um, but because of the band tonight, we need some extra inputs and we need a little bit extra sound. So running the Yamaha tonight, and um, the thing is a, is a workhorse. I actually use that for some of the podcasts that I do. So uh, it's kind of interesting using this for live sound and bands. Um, but eh, it works, it's good. Uh, and then you can see my DMS Co. Everything is all wireless. I'm using the Chave dongles tonight, which, well, I say tonight, but I always use them pretty much every event. Uh, and I'll run, show you guys. Oh, for the sub, I'm using RCF sub tonight. And make sure I don't trip over all these cables. You know, it's funny, guys, as DJs, we always talk about cable management, but you can't really have cable management when you got a band. They really got cables literally everywhere. Um, so for sound, as I said, RCF sub, RCF tops, Chalvet Flex Stands in limited edition white. Pro X six panel facade with the Pro X corner shelves. My little cool little LED lanterns I'm using a sure wireless mic tonight. Up on the pole in the back, which that's a little crooked, I gotta fix that. I'm using the Inno Pocket Spot Twins with the Color Rail IRC. 
And then uh, you guys can see some of the band equipment. They got a couple of keyboards and they got their drums. I think they have a guitarist and a bassist as well. I'll walk around a little bit. Let me show you guys the venue. This is their table set up. Got these cool little bistro lights in here. Adds a little uh, pizzazz, a little little cool effect. A face station. So you guys can see a lot of artwork, just like my last gig log. Um, Artisan Works, it's, it's a really, really big venue. Uh, tons of, of really interesting art, eccentric art. Um, and I think a lot of the art is actually for sale too, which is really cool. So if you see something that you like, uh, I think you can either reach out to the venue or to the artist direct. Uh, I know in a lot of pieces of art, they have uh, pieces of paper uh, that kind of tell you who the artist is. And uh, I think some of them allow you to like contact them and you know see if, if you're interested in buying anything. So we had a lot of people tonight. I think originally she was gonna have 180, but uh, now she's down to, or she's up to 260. Got a live painter happening here tonight. So you guys can see, come back here. Oh, so I gotta tell you guys about this. This is really funny. So when I started to bring stuff inside, I thought this person right or this, this mannequin was a person uh, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit so I'm way way over there and I, I look over and I see this person just sitting here with a dog and I didn't know that it wasn't a real person so I'm like waving at it I'm like hey how you doing and then I come over and I realize it's a mannequin how funny is that right <laughs> so I got all these tables that are way back here in the corner and you can see how far away we are from the stage um, but photo video booth got the eight foot inflatable backdrop my marshmallow as I call it what some people call them too I'm using Luma booth tonight got a bit of their wedding details photo animated gif boomerang and video messages and we got some props with the high tie photo printer Tonight's going to be a really fun one, uh, you know, with the band, and the, you know, the band's going to actually going to be opening up open dancing tonight. I think they're going to be playing about an hour and a half, maybe even possibly closer to two. I'm not sure, but I do know that I'm scheduled to start playing at 8:30, uh, and it goes till 11 o'clock. So it gives me about two and a half hours to do my thing and have some fun and you know, create a, a good energy for the people that are here. And uh, you guys, you guys know out there when you have a wedding where it's a lot of people like this, like 250, 300, 400 people, you can. It's very difficult not to have a full dance floor with that many people. Um, you know, you figure even if like half the people get to the dance floor, you know, that's 150 people ish. So that's a lot. Of, that, that that's a lot. So tonight's gonna be fun. Tonight's gonna be really, really good. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we'll get some video tonight and I'll throw it in the gig log. And uh, as always guys, thank you to you who have subscribed, commented, and liked. If you're new to the channel, be sure to keep doing that. Uh, I do try to put out videos every week, although I know I've been slacking a little bit. Last week I didn't put anything out, um, but definitely uh, keep coming back, keep checking it out. Hit that bell notification so that you know when new videos go up. And uh, I got another wedding next week, which is at another venue. Uh, it's actually one of my uh, favorite venues. It's on my preferred venue list. And um, you guys will see how, how awesome that one is. So, yeah, uh, we'll see how everything's going. And I'm just going to relax for a little bit, go get some pictures, get some more video, and um, we'll, we'll start this thing.